welcome back to my channel for my first video of 2024. I've honestly missed you guys so much. I feel like it's been nearly a month since I posted a video and I definitely needed that break. I hope you guys all had a really lovely Christmas, a nice chilled new year. We did like nothing crazy. We just sort of like stopped at home. We hosted this year and it was just a very chilled one. So I feel like I've not been on my channel for so long. I was really ill over Christmas. So I was fine in the run up to Christmas. Then Boxing Day, I wasn't feeling great. And then from the 27th, I was just so poorly. I think I was just really run down. Like they say, as soon as you stop, like you always get sick and that's exactly what happened to me at first i thought i had covid but it wasn't i was testing but i just was really really run down i had a really bad cough i had a chest infection i was just yeah super poorly so it took me like a week to recover from that which took me up to like new year and then the first week of january i think it was around the fourth or fifth i went to amsterdam on a family girls trip which was really lovely i still wasn't feeling well the beginning of it but i was keeping myself like really dosed up but we did like lots of walking around and i feel like all the walking around in the fresh air it was bitterly cold as well sort of really helped with like just flushing everything out and i did feel so much better so this week i am finally back into creating content again filming videos and as you can see i finally have wardrobes it's been it's been a while. I had these delivered during the Christmas period and yeah, I'm so excited to share them with you. I've been waiting for wardrobes. We've been in this house literally a year next month, which has flown by. So I've been dealing with rails. I had rails in that room. The rails were in this room. It was all a very chaotic and I couldn't see anything. So I'm really excited to organize these ones. So these are from a brand called Tilco beautiful quality they came and assembled them all in my house as well which was a game changer i feel like with my ikea ones like me and russ spent ages building them and they honestly did them like they came i think it was around i think it's around half one their wardrobes came and then i think they left about five six ish so they did it really quickly this is the two guys they got rid of all the cardboard and everything they were super lovely as well i just kept bringing them like coffees and teas and juice and whatnot and yeah they got it up super quickly so i do have a discount code as well for tilco which i'll link on the screen for you now as it'll give you 44 percent off which is a crazy discount especially off furniture so yeah let me give you a little tour inside so let me show you a closer look inside of my new wardrobe. So when I designed these online, I was able to change the width exactly for how I wanted. So I think I left like a centimetre each side. There's about two centimetres down there. So it's more towards this way. But then for the height, there was only a couple of options. So these are the, I think they're the 200 height. So similar to the IKEA ones. They also do another height above this but our ceilings were just a touch too low to have that, which I absolutely gutted about because I really wanted to have like a shelf on the top to be able to put things on. But Russ suggested a really nice idea that I could sort of display some nice shoe boxes up there, even get a little bit of like decor and whatnot. So I'm gonna have a look to see what nice sort of storage I could go for on top of there. So these are three wardrobes in a row. I love how the drawers, so you could have concealed drawers or you could have visible drawers. And I really like the concealed ones because they're pushed. So they're the soft clothes. Obviously at the moment they've got no weight in them. So I need to put my clothes in them, but you just press and then they do the slow clothes. Obviously it's gonna bounce back because there's nothing in the drawer. I think that's a really nice feature to have on a wardrobe. It reminds me of like, you know, when you look at kitchens and they have like the soft clothes, like all our kitchen cupboards and whatnot, are like slow clothes it just makes such a difference my ikea drawers are always banging i also really love the minimal handles as well so here's a closer look inside the first one so i've gone for the lighting on the inside which is an absolute must to make wardrobes look super premium and the lighting is so nice i'm honestly like i like how it's sort of like concealed like behind here so you have this really nice little detail it's honestly the quality is unreal and i've got a rail here and i'm thinking for this one to hang my coats in a side also the door brackets are a slow soft close too which again a really nice feature the doors aren't slamming i was always slamming my ikea wardrobes and then for the next one i've got two rails in here i'm really going to like organize my wardrobe and strip everything back 
um, just so I have like I'm thinking maybe like blazers and jackets in this one so I've got two double rails I could also pop as well some boots standing up here like some tall boots and then for the next one there's more storage in here so there's three drawers in this one so what I'm thinking for this one is to have all my basics so sort of like my t-shirts and whatnot that I wear a lot like I'm always wearing my white t-shirts so I'm going to hang them up I can also pop the rest of my basics in this drawer it does say as well this is the max load so 30 kilo per drawer just make sure obviously it doesn't tip but this is very very heavy so this drawer is concealed in size this is what i mean about the um drawer so say if you wanted to have all the drawers concealed like this then that's when you choose the full length doors but i really liked the soft close and like sort of having the drawers visible i just think it's a really nice clean feature so this drawer i'm thinking of popping like all my basics my other bits and bobs i'm also going to get some drawer organizers for here and then what i love about the bottom drawer is that it's super deep so these are going to be perfect for all my knitwear instead of me trying to like roll them and sort of like stack them that way i can just like pile them neatly and i can sort of see or even have them like sort of like on the side and have them going that way so i'm going to get lots of different drawer organizers and have a play around with the space in the drawers but i just love that they're deep i just have to push them in because i've got no weight in them but yeah i'm honestly so so happy with these wardrobes they were definitely worth the wait i'm also very excited because this is of course the winter lighting just popping in but when it is the spring summer time this room gets such beautiful lighting so yeah i can't wait to have the spring summer lighting shining in here also loving how it sits on my floor i'm so glad that i got her in bone floor for this room i just love how it's concealed at the bottom. It's just, yeah, the premium quality of this is crazy. So I'm gonna, of course, link these wardrobes for you. So before we get into organizing my new wardrobe, I wanted to share some tips on how to do a really good thorough wardrobe clear out. So over Christmas, I really went through all of my clothes. I was literally trying on every single thing. I did want to film doing that, but honestly, I looked like a toe. I look so sick. So I've got everything that I'm gonna keep on rails in the other room. I just need to change all the hangers over as I've bought some really nice wooden hangers for this wardrobe. So I feel like with January as well, I think it's so good to have a good reset of your wardrobe. I'll also be doing a sort of vlog as well at like resetting our home. I still need to organize my kitchen cupboards and whatnot, just all those little things that get left. And I feel like having a good reset for January just feels so good. Like now that I've sort of organized and got rid of things that I don't need, I will be doing a huge vintage um upload as well at some point so make sure you do follow me over on my instagram because that's where i will announce that i'm uploading the things it also goes so quickly so i'll link my vintage as well in the description for you but what i sort of did was i feel like if you want to start building especially a capsule wardrobe and you want to start from scratch then just have a think like what you wear now what makes you feel like you and what makes you feel comfortable if that makes sense i feel like there's so much like with a capsule wardrobe like you can be like you need this you need this you need this and you need this but sometimes that piece might not resonate with you or even your lifestyle as well like for example my favorite like base combo is a white t-shirt and some trousers or jeans that is what i feel the most comfortable in i'll then in the winter I like lay with a jumper, throw on my coat and some trainers, and then like in the springtime, I'll wear my blazers or even like swap my t-shirt out for a vest top and wear a cardigan. That is sort of like my base formula. So just have a little think at what makes you comfortable and what makes you feel most like you, and then go from there. And also consider your lifestyle as well. So if you work in an office, you might need some more workwear pieces like shirts, like fitted skirts, tailored trousers, or if you're sort of like me, I'm sort of very like smart casual so i love wearing like smart trousers i do like to wear like satin skirts as well in the evening time and also in the spring so it's just having a little think and seeing what works for you so when i was gutting everything out of my wardrobe i was making notes of what i was missing so i've noticed some of the pieces that i do need to like reinvest in is one 
new black coat. I have two in my wardrobe, but one is like really overly long. So I did wear it on a recent shoot. And when I was sort of like going up the stairs, I was treading on it. And I did wear it to London one time as well. I was really paranoid of it getting stuck in the escalator. And then the other one I have is okay. Like it's the one I've been wearing um, a lot. So I know that I need to invest in one. It was just a cheaper one from H&M, but I feel like it's sort of like, I don't know, the quality is okay, but I feel like I want something a bit more premium and a bit better. So that is one piece. I'm also missing some grey tailored trays in my wardrobe, some wide legs. I do have some check print ones, but I want some grey ones. Also, I feel like I need to invest in more under layers and so more like sort of long sleeve basics. I've seen that Amazon do those sort of like skims dupes. So I'm gonna have a little look at those. I'm also gonna have a look at Uniqlo as well because they do really good base layers. I do need some more thermals. I took my Uniqlo like thermal leggings and the long sleeve top to Amsterdam and it honestly saved me. And now it's gone so cold. I definitely need some more longer layers. Um, I think another thing I need as well is more socks. I think I've mentioned before that I'm lacking like nice socks, which is really random. And also some sort of like straight fit um, mid wash jeans. So I have the dark wash and the gray wash from Abercrombie, which you'll see when I'm sorting all my wardrobe out, but I do want those jeans in the blue color. So last year I sort of nailed finding the perfect white jeans. I feel like you just have to, yeah, denim's always, yeah, it's tough. <laughs> so it's definitely been a journey finding the right denim, but I really do love the Abercrombie denim. So whenever you are going through your wardrobe, just write some things that you are missing that you feel like you lack in your wardrobe and then slowly build it from there. Like when you do build a capsule wardrobe, you don't have to invest in like a really, really expensive wall coat straight away. You can get a high street one and then see how much you wear it. And if you're wearing it constantly, it's falling apart that's when you know you can invest in a decent one that's what I'm going to do with my black coats but the only things I would say to spend that bit more money at first is your basics so your t-shirts your vest because they are your base layer you'll wear them all the time and I honestly wear a white t-shirt so much and I'm glad that I did invest in a good one because I used to buy lots of cheap $4.99 t-shirts from H&M and Zara a couple of washes they used to go a bit tatty or like really sort of like like lose the shape around the neckline or even shrink as well. So I'm glad I stopped doing that because I was buying new ones every single season. And then I've invested in the Arca heavyweight ones, which are 35 pounds, but they're two years old. So they definitely lasted me. So yeah, those are some tips on how to declutter. So I thought I'd show you the hangers that I got. I ordered like three or four boxes of these. They're just off Amazon. So they're a wooden hanger, but they're slightly sort of like glossy if that makes sense so they've got like a finish on them which they look really premium and I do have a little hack for you on how to hang your trousers. I saw it on TikTok. I was looking for like wardrobe organizing, like inspiration on TikTok and little like hacks on how you can save space. And the trouser one is a really great one. So when I get to sorting my trousers and hanging them all up, I'll show you. I did used to have the velvet hangers, which are just from home since I'm actually looking at my rail because I've got so many hangers when I've already started changing some over. And they're really great, but I just wanted some some premium ones because my wardrobes are so premium I just wanted some really nice wooden hangers to go inside so I'm going to start with my coats first which I'm going to go in this one I'll then go through and do my drawers I do have some drawer organizers as well for the basics drawer so yeah let's get into filling my new wardrobes
so the coats are all in as you can see it's very full I had to be really really ruthless when I did my sort out so another thing is if you've not worn anything in the last six months or it doesn't fit you then just get rid of it like literally just get rid of it because it just ends up sitting there I feel like sometimes I am such like um <clears throat> excuse me a hoarder and by having a really good gut air, I'm like, okay, what do I need? So as you can see, I'm just missing a black coat. I do have a couple hanging in my studio room and I've also kept my sort of um, puffer coat. So I have like two puffer coats, a long black one and a short one from Uniqlo, which I use for dog walking. So I've literally just got them hanging downstairs because they're what I literally wear all the time. And then these are like all my nice coats, but I've got all my trench coats in here, uh, my sort of lightweight wool coats, my thicker ones that only coat that I'm hanging on to which I haven't worn for ages is this one so it's from Mango it's a couple of years old it's a really good dupe for the Max Mara coat like such a good dupe and I keep holding on to it because I know that if I get rid of it I'm going to regret it so I feel like I might try and shoot some like cozy outfits or have a little look on Pinterest on how I can sort of like style it but also I don't want to get rid of it because I would like to like potentially go on a trip um I'd love to go on a skiing holiday or just like a really cold weather holiday and I thought this coat would be perfect for that so I don't sort of want to get rid of it because I know that I'll end up regretting it and then if I do get to go on something I will then need to buy a new one so it's going to sit here of course I've got my favorite mango jacket here and then some of my thinner wool jackets the shorter length ones so the length on this you can see it's sort of like bunches up a little bit but it's fine because I wanted to have this height so I can get like two drawers here because I feel like if I'd had just one drawer I've got sort of wasted like hanging space and they're not sort of like too like scrunched up but yeah I'm loving how the lighting is shining on my coats like honestly it makes it look so premium and when I sort of hung them all up as well like make sure that you sort of like just do the ties up and do any buttons and zips up I feel like that is my old VM in me because everything just hangs nicer when things are tied buttons are done off the sleeves are nice and straight um, I just feel like I really want to treat my wardrobe with sort of a bit of luxury but really look after my clothes instead of just literally lobbing coats in and out because sometimes as well if you leave things unbuttoned and your wardrobe's like quite full like this it sort of like really crunches everything up and it gets all creased so yeah that is the coat part of my wardrobes and then I've just quickly thrown in my loungewear sets in this drawer so these are also what I reach for the most like most of the time when I'm working from home I'm literally either in a loungewear set or some comfy leggings and a cardigan and like a little basic vest or something so these are just literally long cardigans which I like to throw on because I have a habit of putting my dressing gown on I'm awful so I thought I've got my nice little cardigans there I've got a little cashmere set here some other cardigans and these are literally just matching cowards and then this is just a jumper that I wear a lot at home then for the two big drawers I'm gonna pop knitwear in them so I did just pop some in and out um to see what they look like either sort of like side on or stacked and because obviously these drawers are quite deep when I sort of side on them I could get another row on the top and I think that's just gonna be really complicated so I'm just gonna pile them in styles like sort of like cardigans like on their cream jumpers or like turtlenecks or stuff like that try and organize them in my own little way so I've just made some quick piles out of my bags of jumpers I'm gonna do the other bag in a second but I've pulled together the cardigans these are like cashmere I've got my M&S button up ones I've also got this new one which is from another stories I picked up over the Christmas period it's so nice I've also got my beige one and then a sort of um, mohair grey one I've then got cream jumpers here I've got sort of like um sort of rare neck ones high neck ones and then I've got my another stories mock neck jumpers there I did pick up a new beige one so I've just kept them together I've got my zip up knit so this is stories this other one is Uniqlo and my famous stripe one from stories too I've not worn that for ages actually I feel like when you do so at your wardrobe you're like oh I forgot that I had that um so I've definitely noticed that I've also been doing a no spend for January so I'm literally not buying nothing especially doing my sort out I've written my little list of things that I need but I'm doing a no spend because I'm a very impulse shopper I think it's doing the job that I do obviously but I really want to curb my spending on clothes the next year in 2024 so we'll see how that goes um and then I've got my mohair ones here I think my cream one is in another bag somewhere I've got bags and bags of knitwear so I'm going to pop these all in the drawers now
all the blazers are in here, which makes me very, very happy. I've also got some, I want my sort of like smarter jackets, my bomber jackets and my casual ones in here. And um, just I couldn't fit all my age wearing one side, but I think these work quite nicely in here. Um, so yeah, I had to really condense my blazers down as well, which makes me sad, but I'm like, I don't need that many blazers. So I've just really gone through everything again with the color of them. Like I have multiple beige blazers, like I don't need five beige blazers. So I just tried every single thing on and I thought what I like the most, what the fit was like. And some of the pieces as well were really old too. Um, so yeah, I thought I'm gonna pop them on Vinted. But I'm gonna show you my trouser hack. It's not my hack, I found it on TikTok. Um, so usually in my wardrobe, my last time I had my wardrobes, I had all my trousers like rolled up in drawers and I feel like I never knew what trousers I had, especially when we moved out and I was emptying all the drawers. I was like, oh my God, I've accumulated so many pairs of trousers. I thought I've got to sort through all them when we move. So obviously you can get a lot more in drawers, but I feel like I do have too much drawer space for things like trousers. I'm just going to accumulate. So I wanted to have all my nice trousers and my jeans hanging below because like I said, my outfit formula is very much a white t-shirt, a white vest and a pair of trousers or jeans and of course a blazer. So I feel like this middle bit is going to be sort of like my outfit formula. Formula. I want it to be like super easy when I get dressed. I can go in one section and get my basics and go down below, grab my trousers, and I can even grab a blazer or grab a coat. But that is my easy go-to outfit formula. So I'm going to show you two examples. So this first one is a wooden hanger. Obviously, this is a large wooden hanger, and as you can see, it slides around. And when you're sort of like hanging things in your wardrobe, they all sort of like the weight goes to one side, all the hangs are sticking out all horribly. And you can sort of not see what you've got, like it gives too much movement. I feel like they always fall off like this. But the thing I saw on TikTok was to hang all your trousers on baby hangers like this. So as you can see, they are smaller and they just hang so much more neatly like it's not moving around i think as well having the smaller hangers down below will sort of make my wardrobe look more open and i'm able to see and i probably could get like two pairs of trousers on these but then the weight's all going to go to one side just going to start doing that and all bunching up so yeah i've changed all of them to these i want to show you my old hangers so before i used to use these velvet hangers. These are just from HomeSense and these are really great as well at space saving. Of course, my wooden hangers are thicker, but like I said, I really want to minimize my wardrobe and cut it right down. If you are struggling for space, and I do highly recommend these. I've given Russ so many of these hangers, literally, but they're really great. You can also get the baby hangers in these, either on Amazon or just from HomeSense, like super easy. Well, you can sort of see the difference. I know I've only just popped in two hangers, but see how that's sort of like hanging sort of down at an angle and it just looks messy and then look how sort of like clean that looks i've actually changed the hangers already on my rail um but yeah i just feel like yeah it just looks too messy and it looks too big and bulky down here as well with the bigger hanger so yeah let's pop all my trousers in satisfying does that look honestly i just feel like having trousers on at these hangers and i can sort of like see like i really wanted these wardrobes to be open just so i can see my clothes because like i said when everything was in drawers i just couldn't see anything i've got my different like styles of trousers i've got like my wide leg ones these are more of like a peg leg like a sort of like straight fit and then, yeah, I've got some white trousers. I've got my denim here too. I've got my denim skirts on this bit. Um, so yeah, very happy with how these hangers look. I've also got my satin skirt. So I've hung a couple of my satin skirts on here, which are similar colors, just to give me more space and they're fine hanging multiple pairs. You probably could get a couple of pairs of trousers on each of these hangers, but I think it works better with just the skirts. Okay, so in this one, I'm gonna go with all my basics. So my most worn like basic t-shirts, my most worn 
my most worn like vest as well even though we are in obviously winter i really like to use a vest to lay underneath especially underneath cardigans and sort of things that have a lower neckline just because it looks a lot more smoother than wearing a t-shirt i'm also going to pop potentially like my little waistcoats in here my long sleeve shirts just all those other bits that can be added as sort of layers and other bases i've also got some organizers for this drawer here which I'll show you so I ordered these off Amazon so these are just drawer organizers they come with like a little thing that goes in the bottom they all come like flat packs so there's three of these sizes which I'm going to sort of lay in the drawers I mainly have like my like vests and um, my leggings in one as well and then just for the like t-shirt bits or bodysuits and then I've got these sort of longer slimmer ones so I think I should be able to get like a row of each of them there's also some little ones so this is how they come they're literally just all flat packed and this is the smaller size i'm going to use these for my underwear drawers i need to sort that out we've basically got um a chest of drawers in the guest room which has got mine and Ross's sort of underwear bits and pajamas in i am after a nice chest of drawers for a master bedroom because at the moment i have a dressing table in that little nook but it's sort of like a waste of space i don't really have that much like when i'm getting ready i have my little makeup bag i sort of filter things in and um, i've got another storage cupboard on the landing which is full of like pr bits skincare like that's a cupboard that you know the monica cupboard our friends like where you open the door and everything is like an avalanche everything's just being lobbed in that cupboard like it's awful that's another thing that i need to sort out but yeah they come with this little bit here and you literally just like pop it inside and it keeps it all nice and flat so i'm gonna hang all those other bits and then pop all my other little basic bits into these these are the best that i'm gonna hang as well because one of these don't fold that great and two i wear them so much these are the unique Uniqlo vests which have a built-in bra on the inside which are an absolute game changer in the summer but when I'm at home I just want to wear I know some jeans a cardigan and a vest I've been reaching for these all the time so I have a grey one I have the cream one I do have a black one which is potentially in the wash but yeah I just have these racer ones which are really great for layering everything put in here now so i've got like my white vest neutral vest some striped ones also my black ones i've then got sort of like nicer like black cami tops like knitted ones and sort of one shoulder tops there and my zara bodysuits same with this side as well i've got like one sleeve tops just sort of like nicer basics and then in this one here i've got sort of like little bandeau tops and my corsets for the evening time and then this one is just all my leggings because i wear black leggings all the time like these are my comfy Amazon fashion ones. I have my Uniqlo as well, thermal ones here, my Adenona leggings. And then in here, I've just quickly thrown in my sweatshirts and like tracksuit sets. So I do have a couple more that are in the wash. I've popped my hoodie in here, just my sort of casual bits, of course. Like when I do want to wear casual things at home, I can literally grab my tracksuit, grab a little basic vest to go underneath, grab my leggings, wear my hoodie, just so everything's all together. I just sort of want to make things like as easy as possible for when I'm getting dressed and I can literally see everything now i'm just going to finish off and fill this drawer with the rest of my knitwear i have these bits over here to go in so i'm going to pop them all in there honestly feel so much better now that is all organized i think it's gonna be so much easier for like me getting dressed like i can go in here get my blazers get my trousers 
my coats are all in there. Um, I've got my basics and t-shirts in the next one. I do want to potentially either look at some over storage for the top or I might just keep it clean and maybe style it like with like nice like shoe boxes or some nice like decor. Um, I'm unsure yet. It's a shame that I couldn't have the higher height. I feel like it would have been so nice having that extra bit with a shelf and then I could have popped some bits on there. And I'm sure you're thinking, where are all her shoes and bags? So as you can see this side, we have an empty nook. This is just full of empty hangers at the moment and all my shoes and bags. I do have another couple of bags of shoes in there. My summer bits are underneath um, my ottoman bed in the master bedroom. So obviously I like to sort of like, whenever I change things over like for summer or winter, vacuum bags are the best. So I'm gonna always use that overflow. But yeah, I am gonna order another one of these Tilco wardrobes for this side. I have done a little design already. I'll pop a picture on. So I'm gonna have a slim bit of hanging, which is gonna be for all my evening wear so like nice long dresses i do have some evening bits here already like from christmas and stuff so i'm gonna pop all of them there anything as well that's sort of like extra long especially more for the summertime really when you have like all your maxi dresses because in these wardrobes the length the length might work okay in the coat one but i feel like i do want to keep um the coats all together i don't want to be sort of like that's always going to be a coat wardrobe i don't want to be like swapping stuff over i want sort of everything to be in the same place all year round really i just will sort of mix up um my storage but i feel like with my drawers with all my jumpers i wouldn't bother putting all my jumpers away in storage because I wouldn't really put anything else in those drawers. They're so good for storing jumpers. And I feel like with the weather in the UK as well, I'm always sort of like wearing jumpers. Um, even in the summer as well, actually, just a nice jumper and some like thinner trousers or a skirt and whatnot, or even shorts, like honestly. We don't have the weather to pack away jumpers completely. So yeah, this is gonna be the other side. Very, very looking forward to having like the little bit for my hanging. I'm then gonna have some shelving bits too for like my nice bag so I can display them. I might have a little look at seeing what I could do in that bit there for bags. And then I'm gonna store my shoes in drawers. You can sort of see on that little design, there's like some little shelf bits. So I'm gonna sort my shoes and that to go in there. I do have quite a lot of shoes. I haven't sorted those out. So when I feel like when I do come to organizing this wardrobe for this side i will be quite ruthless like i have been with this side i honestly have so much stuff to pop on vinted so like i already said i will link that down below for you but i'm looking forward to just doing some work on this room i'm not going to rush it um, I'm obviously after changing the light because we still have hanging light bulbs. I am going to get a really nice big rug for here. I'm also going to get a sort of nice long slim like little bench to go on the rug. So I can sort of use that to sit down to sort of like get ready and whatnot, but also use it as storage. I had a Ottoman thing like in my, our old house, which was really great for storage. So really good idea for potentially like putting scarves in. Um, beanies, caps, just little bits like that that you sort of throw on last. So I can just pop it all in there. And then I have got a slim mirror. So I think I'm gonna pop it this side. Um, it's basically a slim arch mirror from William Wood Mirrors. I was gonna pop it on this wall here, but I'm just paranoid of opening the door into the mirror. So I feel like I might pop it there. Maybe it's like a little bit hiding behind the door. There is a sort of like door stopper so it doesn't go right to the wall. Um, just so I can sort of see myself full body. I thought the light looks better that side. Like one thing I have noticed in this house with mirrors is that, yeah, a mirror would look nice there, but look how dark that wall is compared to that wall. Like I like to be able to see myself in decent light. Um, so yeah, look at all those bags there. Honestly, the chaos. I have plenty of hangers as well left over. I've got these ones. I've got some more baby hangers here. I also ordered some new underbed storage off Amazon too. And then these ones are clippy hangers. I ordered them thinking that I might use them and I never did. So I might see if Russ wants those for like his workwear trousers because he doesn't really hang them properly. So yeah, I'm going to end the video just there. I hope you guys have enjoyed watching. It's the first one back. I also hope that you found it 
helpful as well. I always get so many questions on how I organize like my wardrobes and my drawers. And I feel like it's just making it work for you. Like everyone's different. You don't have to literally copy like exactly what I've done. You might not wear, like I for instance don't wear that many dresses and whatnot. Um, or like skirts very often. So I feel like it depends on your style. But I think if you really break it down into clear sections, so you've got all your coats all together, your knitwear, and just try and organize it as much as possible, just so it's easy for you to get dressed in the morning. And you can see what you've got as well. I feel like having a good clear out like this has been really ruthless, but then it showed me what I've already got. So what I thought that I was missing, I now already have. So yeah, I didn't realize I had so many pairs of jeans. When I did my sort out, I must have had about 20 pairs of jeans. So I tried every single one of them on. And then I sort of like, if I had something that I didn't really like the fit of them, like a lot of them were too small or like too high waisted, which sort of really cut me in half. And then the others I didn't really like the leg on me. So yeah, I think it's really good to try on your wardrobe before buying anything new, seeing what you already have and what you can already work with, and then make yourself a little list of things that you want to invest more in, or if you're looking at replacing some of those like classic wardrobe pieces, like a camel coat, a black blazer, and you've worn one to death, then you know that you will get your wear out of one when you invest in a quality. So yeah, I'm looking forward to sharing more dressing room updates with you this year. So if you have enjoyed watching this video, then please please don't forget to like it and make sure you subscribe to my channel as well. So yeah, as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you on my next video.